Now, before we go live to Moscow for another historic first by the liberal leader, we have a special guest with us to help navigate through the event that's sure to be a crucial step towards forging stronger ties between the two nations. Dr. Chung Dae-jin from the Aju Institute of Unification, good to have you with us at this hour. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for making time for us at the very last minute. Thank you. <laughs> now, this is a very special event. It's another milestone for President Moon, this summit in the Kremlin, a first in the century. Uh, yes. How would you gauge its significance? Yeah, President Moon uh, already announced uh, his own uh, policy, new northern policy during his uh, presidential campaign, and he also uh, expressed, uh, announced uh, the new southern policy. And that's the, the two pillars of his new kind of uh, diplomatic policy. And, and this maiden trip to Russia is the first step and a very significant uh, kickoff to implement his new northern policy. Um, as you know, uh, Russia is a very big power, um, but, uh, but many Koreans are not familiar with uh, Russia, actually. So the, this uh, uh, President Moon's maiden trip uh, will be uh, poster the uh, strong ties between Russia and, Co Russia and South Korea. Right, you mentioned that Koreans are not very familiar with Russia, and it's possible that South Koreans, we tend to have a greater exposure to influence your cultures or entertaining cultures from the West, which is why we're very familiar with uh, American and British culture. Yes, sir. And of course, likewise, we let the world know through K-pop. Uh, President Moon Jae-in started his speech at the lower house yesterday by touching on literature and the cultural significance of sure, Russia. Sure, sure, Yeah. Uh, we Koreans uh, regard, often regard Russia as uh, just an energy big power. But, but Russia has a pride that, um, that they saved the world from the uh, First World War and Second World War, from the threat of the war and the destruction of the civilization uh, during the 20th centuries. And they have a very uh, high pride in, in uh, their role to save, uh, save, save the world and then to, keep, uh, to maintain the history of the world. But, but, but many Koreans didn't uh, regard that uh, legacy uh, as a good thing so awesome. So many of, many of us uh, didn't know that, yeah. And then the, well, we just regard, as I said, we just regard the Russia as an energy big power, but uh, as you mentioned, the Russia is a uh, country of the Tolstoy and Tchaikovsky and the literature and music. And, and the Russians are very proud of it. And, and we should remember that point. Uh, if we uh, would like to make a strong ties and we would like to make us some brighter future with Russians. And if, um, except, um, except the economic cooperation and the, the cultural and then and soft touch approaches is very important and to make a strong ties and then to make a, a very strong economic uh, development cooperation. I was surprised to learn that there are a lot of plays and books, even modern ones, that South Koreans can relate it to that's from Russia, that you would not know it's actually Russian until you tell it to them, if it was a translated version of it. Do you think this cultural relevance uh, could add to the uh, s uh, very sparkling conversation between the two leaders today? Yes, uh, the, the, the point of the present moons, the, the, characteristic, the characteristic of present moons uh, speech is, uh, is, uh, has a very fruit a uh, fruitful of uh, uh, expressions and then quotation uh, from the country uh, where he uh, make a visit. Yeah. Uh, last year, the last year in December, he made a visit to China. Uh, I was uh, I was at the Peking University when President Moon uh, delivered his speech, but I was very surprised at the time. President Moon touched the very uh, forgettable. Of pre President Moon touched the. the those who didn't familiar with us, but is a, but has a very significant meaning to the ties between China and Korea. So, at, um, same similar things was happen uh, at this time. And the, the President Moon delivered his speech with very uh, sophisticated and, and detailed uh, persons and then stories. And it, that kinds of a cultural touch will uh, will be very good. Uh, foundation and a strong uh, access to uh, make two summits, make, make two summits uh, come closure and then uh, make it 
for country is come closure. So, yeah. Right, President Moon certainly seems to be very knowledgeable in culture and history around the world, and he knows how to reach out and really uh, start strike up a conversation on the right note. How do you think Putin is responding to President Moon Jae-in's very usual approach, which is uh, showing them that he understands them? Yeah, as we know, Putin is a very strong guy. Yeah? A very unique yeah, character. Very unique character, sure. but I'm short of information on how Putin uh, responds to that kind of the statement. I, I, I expect the, the pre President Putin's uh, um, words and uh, response, response uh, later, later than now, yeah, uh, during the press conference. Yeah? I hope uh, President I hope President Putin will express his satisfaction, satisfa satisfaction with uh, President Moon's uh, gesture as a good gesture to Russia. Yeah. Right. Uh, the hot topic should be about the World Cup. Do you think uh, the two leaders might have uh, exchanged some views about the potential of their respective teams? Yes, but 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 I'm I'm not I'm not familiar with uh, this World Cup, World Cup uh, games. But then, uh, uh, you know, Russia uh, Russia has a very strong uh, potential. The home team certainly yeah, has the proud backing. Yeah, to, to be the winner, yeah, <laughs> the strong potential. Uh, but, um, but as you as you know, uh, the present moon uh, will uh, watch the Korean national team's games the, tomorrow. Uh, but m m maybe they, the two leaders will, will exchange their views and uh, the futures and uh, how it will go. How it will go on and, and during the World Cup games and then and then I think the, the pre, I think the present moon maybe uh, may uh, request some strong favor and uh, from the Russia's and uh, for, for Korean soccer teams yeah, maybe something like that, that that's, that's, that's uh, the trivial things yeah, yeah. right uh, the trivial things are small talks are usually uh, good for striking a yeah, conversation yeah, sure, from sure, a, sure, sure. a bottom up then top down uh, President Putin is, we talked about how unique he is, he likes to uh, start things slow or late. Yes, he's very Tend famous. to be uh, casually late for most instances. Why is this the case? Is he trying to make a statement by showing up late? Yeah, he would like to, uh, to lead the, some situation uh, with his, count, his counterpart. He will uh, show his uh, supremacy and superior than mm, his count counterpart, he he tend to rate. Uh, he always late for the summit talks, or he always late for the meetings. But at this time, about I don't remember. But the, um, Prime Minister Abe was late than the President Putin. At this time, I think uh, the, the the late the the last the last uh, the forum, uh, the last uh, economic forum, the Prime Minister uh, Abe made Putin uh, wait for him. So that was a very unique and, and, and extraordinary uh, picture. Right. Yeah. And as we speak, speak Professor, uh, we're actually getting uh, the footage of the two leaders signing MOUs. I believe there are 12 that's being signed mm -hmm. at this very moment. And of course, they will have a joint press conference sure. after all the uh, inks are dry, or even before the inks are dry, after they sign the respective agreements. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're learning that they won't be fielding any questions from the press, rather it will, it will be just a, a report, reporting mm -hmm. to the rest of the world that okay. all that's been accomplished during their sit-down. I think we spend more time waiting and, uh, of course, enjoying the welcome ceremony than the actual discussions itself. Professor, would you say uh, this is a good thing? Yeah. Yeah, people, be, right? That there people, was people to, to some is assigning some. Uh, well, documents. the fact that it took, yes, uh, it took such a long time yeah, and for two it minutes, to happen yeah, and two minutes and right. exchange a very uh, um, um, two, two, rapid progression, you know, various documents, and then not only the foreign minister but also the other ministers exchanged that there are some MOUs and then right. Uh, there are other many other path, yes, uh, yeah. officials that had their input yes, and their, yeah, their yeah. imprints on this, these agreements that's being yeah, made. Yes. What do you think will be some of the key uh, agendas that's been covered during this uh, the signing? Maybe there's some, some economic ties and then the, the new Northern, the, the point of the new Northern policy is the, to link uh, the Korean Peninsula to the right. uh, Eurasia. And then, but uh, we have a North Korean as a missing link. Right. Uh, but uh, except, ex 
North, North Korea, uh, but but Russia and South Korea also, uh, and so Russia and South Korea can prepare something without North Korea. So I think the economic ties, and then that's the, the, the cultural minister though, right. yeah, and then the cultural part and then other economic partners are dealt with during this uh, negotiation and during the summit. Yeah. I think there's quite a lot of emphasis being placed on culture uh, to the surprise of many when we thought they would only have time to focus on barely laying the groundwork for economic coordination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's a surprise I, I see, I saw, I watched the, the Prime Min uh, the Minister Do, it's cultural minister Do. Yeah. It's a very good sign and to make the uh, two sides uh, ties going well and for the bright future. Right, as, soft as diplomacy is something that can't be neglected when two sides are just starting a, a strong relationship. Yes, yes. Again, as I mentioned before, uh, South Korea and Russia, they do have a lot of vibrant exchanges that's going on without being highlighted as the main headliners in the, in the news or other stories, but we've had uh, certain cultural elements that we actually can relate to and connect with quite rapidly. Mm -hmm. So, right. Yeah. Looks like things are it's progressing it's quite quickly. Yeah. <laughs> how many documents are uh, exchanges? Uh, uh, our understanding is the, uh, the Chongwa Day confirmed that there will be 12 documents 12, being signed. 12 documents, right. yeah. Looks like all the respective ministers are, mm -hmm. we're just getting word that it's down to eight, uh, fixed from the initial report that was 12. So these are eight, eight MOUs that's eight being MOUs, signed. Yeah. So each minister that's uh, contributed to this agreement and this summit mm -hmm. is uh, taking center stage for some photo ops. Mm -hmm. Good to see the leaders sharing the spotlight with their advisors. Mm -hmm. Initially it was eight, uh, but they've added four more for the last minute, yeah, yeah, so uh -huh. total so is uh, 12. 12. So that yeah. was the confirmation, that was the correct number. It's not common thing and it's not easy to uh, share some views and share that kinds of MOUs with Russia. Uh, right. Yeah. It's quite an enigmatic yeah, we have stayed. Yeah, we have few opportunities to, to exchange that kind of various and right. and various talks with Russia. Reportedly, FDA is the central topic between the two sides. Uh -huh. So, as you said, economy related. Economy is, uh, economy is the first. Around yeah, trade. Economy is the first agenda of this uh, President Moon's maiden visit. Yeah. Interestingly, main pledges during his uh, presidential campaign used to be something that seemed to be veering away from economy, but rather setting things straight and improving people's lives. But unbeknownst to many, a lot of uh, his efforts are directed towards reviving the economy, and it's bearing a lot of fruit quite rapidly to the surprise of his naysayers. Yes, I think a soft touch and then the software. The they are very of closely the inter yeah, yeah, yeah. intertwined. Yeah, okay. I wonder whether Chairman Kim Jong-un is now watching that scene or not. Yeah. In, it would be surprising to uh, <laughs> learn if he's not watching, right? Yeah. It is not surprising for him, yeah. It is already uh, released and then it right, is... Right, perhaps he's yeah, already know, got yeah, prior yeah. knowledge of it. Yeah. Speaking of North Korea's relations with Russia, uh, it seemed to, it seemed to, they seem to have experienced a bit of a falling out last year. Uh, but it, is it, is it returned to normal these days with the uh, improvements that North Korea has made in terms of opening up to the rest of the world? Yeah, I think it is recovered and it is a normal state-to-state um, -state, uh, relationship now. And then the Russia, is, Russia shares the borderline with North Korea, but as you, as you know, the Russia is a very big country. Uh, it does not belong to the, it does not belong to the, I, 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 he says something? Right. Let's listen to President Putin at the joint press conference. I am President Moon Jae-in, met uh, and we held a summit 
And it was a very realistic summit, and it was a very constructive summit as well. The two countries agreed to share uh, views on the international agenda, and we also discussed and we had a very crucial agreement on cooperation. It's also entailed in the joint statement, and also we signed a uh, various MOUs. Uh, the Republic of Korea is a very important partner of Russia in the Asian Pacific region, and the two countries are carrying out great uh, intensified uh, cooperation, and we have on the basis very various uh, a sectors of cooperation. And taking this opportunity, we took uh, and we noted the importance of uh, economic cooperation, and our trade enhanced 27 percent. And this year, the trade volume between the two countries increased by more than 6 percent. Therefore, Republic of Korea is uh, the Russia's second largest trading partner in Asia Pacific region. And our investment also enhanced uh, to 1.9 billion U.S. dollars, and many Korean firms are actively playing big roles in Russia, and they're investing in many sectors, including agriculture and other sectors as well. And we also discussed the importance of energy cooperation. Russia has a, how is providing stable energy sources to the Republic of Korea. And last year, we exported uh, more than 12 million uh, crude oil to uh, the so South Korea, and we also exported uh, energy sources. Korea is also cooperating with us to develop and the Arctic region, uh, especially in the uh, LNG uh, sector and Kore Korean corporations are also investing and uh, discussing the partnership with the LNG project. And we're also we also have discussed uh, municipal government level dis uh, co cooperation between the two countries, and we also will hold uh, the municip first ever uh, municipal government forum between the two countries. And we talked about the Vladivostok port uh, project, and we also talked about the uh, developing project of the Arctic, a TSR project, and we suggested that Korea would cooperate more actively. And these will be uh, discussed in the uh, far eastern, uh, the Eastern Economic Forum. And I hope that President Moon will also participate in this forum. And we also discussed the human resources exchanges. Every year, cultural festivals and the Day of Culture will be held. Korea will also participate in the 7th St. Petersburg uh, as a host country. And uh, exchanges in tourism is also in the agenda. In 2017, 260,000 Russians uh, visited Korea, which is 26 percent uh, increase year on year. The Russians who are visiting Korea uh, increased 17 percent. This year, uh, we discussed about the international issues, uh, especially focusing on the issues on the Korean Peninsula, the landscape of uh, the geopolitical landscape of the Korean Peninsula is uh, developing, and the communication channels uh, were open between the two Koreas, and there uh, were substantial uh, developments in the um, relations between the two two Koreas. North Korea and U.S. had sat down for conversation, and we welcome this change. This will ease the tension on the Korean Peninsula, and I believe it will. In the future, in this region, I hope there will be a steadfast security that is formed in this region. Lastly, uh, 
to uh, President Moon and the delegations from the Republic of Korea. I thank you for coming to R Russia. I know this will not be uh, the end. Uh, I. As far as I know, um, President Moon will go to uh, this other city uh, for the World Cup uh, Games and to cheer for the national team of Republic of Korea. I hope the Korean team uh, performs well and have good results to bring back home. President Moon, the delegations from the Republic of Korea and the people of Korea, I would like to thank you, especially for uh, your support and your warm hospitality during the uh, 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. I extend my deepest gratitude to President Putin and the people of Russia for your warm hospitality towards myself and our delegation. President Putin, first of all, I would like to congratulate you on the successful hosting of the World Cup Games. I can feel the festivities all across the nation. I believe that the people of Russia must be ever more happy since Team Russia is doing great. Korean soccer fans are also enjoying the World Cup Games even until late at night. I hope that it uh, will be a historic World Cup that could unite the world. It's been my second state visit to Russia in uh, nine months since I attended the Eastern Economic Forum last year. I'm very grateful that our two countries are holding regular summits, as suggested uh, by President Putin when we first met. And uh, last year, when I was in Vladivostok, I was able to witness with my own eyes the infinite potential of the Far East, as well as the potential of bilateral cooperation in various sectors. And now that I'm here in Moscow, where a nation coexists with the civilization and where history coexists with the future, I have great hopes for the future of Korea-Russia cooperation. I believe that President Putin also shares the same view. We already share common policy direction. It's about making the lives of our citizens better. We agreed to carry out bilateral cooperation that can bring benefits to the citizens of both countries. First, the two countries will together lay out future growth engines through technological cooperation and in innovation. To this end, we've agreed to establish the Korea-Russia Innovation Center in Korea and expand the Korea-Russia Science and Technology Cooperation Center. I also look forward to uh, enhanced exchanges and joint ventures between startups of the two countries and intensify support for SMEs as well as venture firms. We will also carry out close cooperation in the new industry sector. It's also very meaningful that Korea is participating in Russia's largest innovative industry exposition, Innoprom, as a partner country. I hope to see enhanced bilateral cooperation in the areas of industry, investment and innovative technologies. Moreover, I'm very grateful that the two countries have embarked on the domestic process of uh, to, in, to, to initiate negotiations for an FTA in the sectors of services and investment. The purpose of such efforts is to enable the be uh, people of our, our two countries to enjoy better economic benefits and uh, to enjoy enhanced quality of life. In particular, I hope we can introduce quality jobs for our youth. Second, Korea and Russia will cooperate more closely to realize the vision of peace and common prosperity in Eurasia and the Russian Far East. At the Eastern Economic Forum last September, I proposed the Nine Bridge Strategy to realize this vision. Today, President Putin and I reaffirmed the importance of the cooperation between our two countries in the rail areas of railways, power generation, gas exploration, shipbuilding and port construction. I hope a comprehensive and detailed nine bridge action plan will be adopted within the earliest possible time for the cooperation to accelerate.
We agree to promote exchanges between local cities. Seventeen municipal governments of Korea and the municipal government of the Russian Far East will participate in this endeavor. I will look forward to seeing fruitful and practical outcomes that could be felt in daily lives of the peoples of our two countries. Third, expanded cooperation in the areas of health and medical services will enhance health and welfare of the people. In the near future, a Korean-type general hospital will be established in Skolkovo, Moscow's international med medical zone. I anticipate to see the remarkable activities by me medical teams of the two countries specializing in cancers, cardiac disease, and cerebral nerves. Medical co collaboration of the future utilizing state-of-the-art IT technology will also begin soon. Remote medical treatment will be conducted by using a mobile diagnostic device installed in the trans-Siberian passenger cars. I hope more lives will be saved through the health and medical cooperation that combines the wisdom of our two countries. We also agreed to strengthen our communication and collaboration so that the Korean Peninsula and Eurasia can enjoy peace and pros prosperity together. To prepare for the trilateral cooperation among the two Koreas and Russia, we will first start with projects that South Korea and Russia can consistently pursue. Joint research on railways, electric grids and gas pipeline connections will be the starting point. Recently, the Republic of Korea joined the Organization for Cooperation Between Railways as a regular member, which laid the foundation for future railway cooperation. I am deeply grateful to Russia for its greatest support that helped us throughout this process. Last but not least, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to President Putin and the people of Russia for the state visit invite and the warm hospitality. Spasiba. Thank you very much. And there you have it. As we mentioned earlier, yes. there will be no Q&A sessions. We see the two leaders exiting the venue after that joint press conference, letting the world know of the agreements reached and the discussions that were held. Now, going back to you again, Professor, before we wrap things up, it looks like they have an array of areas they overlapped in terms of exchanges, cooperation with the future in mind. It looks like the two leaders got to sit down and connect the dots to form a nice round circle. Yeah, sure. So the, uh, they made a very fruitful uh, outcome. Said uh, uh, the this this past summit uh, widened the horizon of the uh, two countries' relations, and uh, they exchanged some memories and packed uh, uh, not only energy but also the various uh, areas of tourism. And uh, I w I do like to pinpoint that the municipal. Uh, exchanges in the problem city cities city to city exchanges is a very uh, helpful to uh, make the uh, the two countries uh, relations are very uh, fru fruitful and, and colorful yeah than people yeah. and then I'd like to pinpoint that the the, the small business support center and expand the start startup uh, changes and then and then um, just but uh, I, uh, many worries about uh, some um, entrepreneur, enter, enterprise uh, can uh, plug into the Russian economies well or not. And many worries about that because of the uh, Russian um, customs and the Russian uh, legal system is very different from the, uh, what we have. And so many worries and many have uh, went through the the difficulties in investing and in doing business in it's Russia. It's a unique cultural environment. Yeah, sure. So, but uh, but this uh, this kind of uh, uh, agreement to expand the startup change and to to finance or so to help small businesses support center. Uh, we need the uh, government-based uh, support center and the capacity building uh, area uh, to cooperate uh, to uh, poster uh, the economic cooperation and say so that's the very good point of this summit yeah. it was brisk sweet and productive yes. that will be how we sum it up and i believe uh, president moon jae-in and uh, president putin will have a lot more to discuss in the future they will certainly meet possibly in the forum in vladivostok yeah sure to iron out the details yeah. but thank you so much for making time for us dr tong dae we appreciate your expertise and your insights yeah, thank you